what's up people how are you guys doing today i'm back again with update you guys know how we do with you in this channel everything happening in the big brother house guys yet again double k serving us content again again and again like this is the second time we've seen them kiss passionately like the norms for husband and wife although big brother house had actually you know made them deprived themselves from this kind of moment for themselves we saw them in the bathroom yesterday guys because hmm, you guys you know know that kelly ray is serving a punishment of animal you are chlorine on the floor so i don't know how they were able to sneak down into the bedroom where housemates are actually sleeping like they are always looking for that moment where nobody's gonna see them but i just pray they keep it up like this to the end of the game so nobody discovers that they are actually having anything for each other guys so camera showed them like this kissing passionately like it was so intense it was literally so intense like when you see the passion when you see you know cassia body movement you will know that yes this baby has craved for such a moment for so long like it is not easy guys for you to have your husband in the same house where you guys are doing a lot of things together and you can't just kiss him and you can't just do anything anything to this guy because you are actually playing a game yes the game is the game kelly ray most especially his eye is on the bag and i trust cassia cassia does not want to you know be the one to spoil your game right so they keep clocking on the game you know clocking on fans deceiving fans up and down but yet again you know your baby served kelly ray a sweet kiss yesterday not after kissing we saw how kelly ray actually bent down to continue his punishment anima you are and you know it was so funny after enjoying yourself you are back to your punishment and cassia was not really having it so she have to laugh and when she realized that she is coming out with you know uh, her second or her husband in the, from the bathroom she has to, to reduce her you know voice and cover her mouth so people don't notice that they are actually they were actually there right so i enjoy every bit of the moment i watched you know from cassia and her husband the kids they had in the bathroom today guys i wish we could be seeing this almost every time but quite unfortunate that we might not be seeing it why can't you sleep nice why can't you sleep fine when after having those kids from someone you truly love hmm from someone that you know you're spending the rest of your life with and you can't just take your i can see how cassia used to you know just behave whenever they are at the you know arena or wherever they are at the lounge especially when kelly ray is close to her she does not mind yesterday when they were dancing reacting before the wager presentation she was all around this guy you know <laughs> like throwing herself on this guy but you guys know kelly ray of course kelly ray is on the back on the game he does not really want to to mix up he doesn't want to fuck up his game guys so i'm giving it up for kelly ray for keeping it up to this time if it was some stupid way to be some guys i believe this must have casted by now like people must have discovered by now but kelly ray is on the bag like give it up for kelly ray and up to double k guys let's talk about anita and tofa because it may seem as though there is trouble in the land there is trouble in this ship right now guys hmm earlier in the morning yesterday first of all let's start there because problem is on ground right now that we need to address age barrier age difference and age wahala is on ground right now but earlier in the morning yesterday we saw where both of them were actually at the room and i heard where anita said you don't care about me like tofa care about like uh, sorry like uh, switch care about anita you go ahead eating the bowl of food you don't even care if i've eaten or not 
and Tofa actually apologized to her and they moved on right so after which in the afternoon before the wager presentation we saw where there was conversation between you know anita ben you know uh Tofa and there's um this guy sean right so they were all at the lounge and i don't know who brought up that conversation i don't know who actually initiated the age discussion you know trying to ask people which is in the level of age like how many years old guy can you date the the, the highest age you can date and the lowest age you can date so he got to anita's turn anita said the highest day age she can date is 45 right so he said the lowest age he can date is someone who is already in his age because she said she has not dated someone in his age before but she has actually done it right now because of Tofa in the big brother house because he's the, he's the guy to both of them have been together in the big brother house right now so but after so far he cannot date anybody that below his age and he cannot date anybody that is uh, you know within his age but for so far it has happened it has happened i was like come on do you really love someone or you are trying to just you know be in a ship in the house because i don't see age as a different i don't see age as an issue when it comes to dating right so the question is so far is just 24 guys and anita is 29 so far is 24 and anita is 29 anita has pushed so far so hard to speak up yesterday but this guy could not speak I was so embarrassed by Tofa how Tofa could not stand up as a man to speak up, how Tofa could not defend himself, how Tofa could not just speak up once and for all, beating around the bush for literally over 30 minutes of conversation with Anita. I became worried. I was like, come on, Tofa, be like a man. Don't be so, you know, childish to me. And afterward, Anita asked her him straight, how old are you? Because there is something fishy in this conversation that you came down to meet me. The baby was so blunt. Because according to him, it according to her, she told Tofa that if she comes out of the Big Brother house and discovers that what Tofa told her is lies, that that would be the end. You understand? So Chizoba encouraged Tofa to tell her the truth. Because it is better they know the truth here in the big brother house than if she wants to continue and continue instead of building emotion, building feelings and all that. So I think Tofana went ahead to go meet her and start telling her a different story from what she's about discussed with him. Guys, what do you have to say about this? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.